of the many projects for my new home is um, a little update on this pot. I love it. It's a uh, very heavy, beautiful fiberglass pot, but I don't like the, um, the color. It's a dull brown with like a verdigree. It would be fine someplace else, but not here. So I'm going to take it out side. It's a beautiful uh, end of December day. And I am going to spray it gloss white. It's an update on it. And there's my ficus elastica, which I am going to air layer. And I'm doing a video on that soon for you. Also on the care. I'm going to do besides removing the plant of course is to uh, dust off the pot and give it a wipe down but that way the paint adheres better now we're out in the driveway and I've got my spray chamber set up <laughs> it's a big huge box and it just helps to keep the paint from flying all around and I'm spraying this lamp too so now I'm going to be Again, spraying it and what you do is you just spray light coats it's much better to spray multiple light coats than say one or two really heavy coats because you get a lot of uh, blotching and unevenness so so here's after the first coat it only took me like a few minutes to spray on every side but as you can see it's very light some of the uh, dark is still showing through on it okay so here it is after coat number two and as you can see, I have it raised up a little bit. It's on the piece of styrofoam that actually sits inside the container that raises up the plant. And here's after coat number three. It's finally starting to look white. And I'm gonna detail it with a little bit of gold. Also the lamp too. And when you're spray painting, you wanna get about 12 to 16 inches away from whatever you're spraying. You don't wanna be too, too far or you don't wanna be too close. And you just use really light light strokes. Okay, there's coat number four. It's a little hard to see because there's a little afternoon sun hitting it right there, but um, it's almost fully coated, but I am going to do one more coat. So it'll take five coats, and then I'm going to put a gloss protective coat over that too. But I like it as a much cleaner, fresher look. And I turned it upside down, and I gave it the fifth spray that way so I'll turn it back on its right side once it dries and see how it looks when you're going from dark to light you have to uh, might have to do an extra coat or two and again these coats are really really light before I got too far along with the detailing I just wanted to show you there's I'm starting there and there it is just plain so it just adds a nice little pop to it and then I'm just going to do a band around the outside of probably bronze because I want to keep it a nice, more of a modern look than too, too detailed out. So this happens sometimes. You're not happy with what um, you are doing. And I don't like that border around the edge of it. I just want to have the gold dots. It makes it a little look more, a little clean and modern. So what I'm going to do is just put a, a piece of paper over that lattice part and I'm just going to spray paint it back to white, the edge. Okay, so there's one coat done and I'm going to do one more just to make sure it's thoroughly covered and then I'll get back to my detailing. Action! So here I am with the finished product. I think it's um, a little more modern, looking very clean, but I love the, uh, the little pops of gold and the dark foliage of the of ficus elastica burgundy, I think, really is a nice complement to this pot. So I hope you have found this video to be helpful, and maybe it inspires you to give a, your container a totally new look. It's not that hard to do. So come back. I have a lot more videos coming your way, and let's get out in the garden or into our indoor home gardens and make our world a more beautiful place. I thank you so much for watching, for all your likes and your subscribes. I appreciate them. See you in the next one. Bye.